And we welcome in walleye play-by-play -play announcer Matt Melzak into the studio. Matt, a couple of days off for you guys, but really well-deserved considering a pair of overtime victories to end the week. Really hard-fought ones that the guys really had to dig deep for. Yeah, they certainly did, Dorian. And, at a, and of course, you get a 3-3, three and three, and why wouldn't the last two games be the ones that go to overtime? You're already tired. You got travel mixed in. And then here we go with the longer games. But it was the first two times this year that Toledo has gone to overtime. No surprise against the Fort Wayne Comets. A lot of those games end up being very close. But then it was a well-played game by the Indy Fuel on Friday night in Toledo that led us to, uh, you know, a 3-3 game. But Toledo comes back, ties it, about four minutes to go in the game, and then wins it there early in overtime. Yeah, you mentioned Randy Gazzola's uh, game winner there in the overtime period. Doesn't happen without Matt Berry's uh, third period goal with just about three to play. But the fact that Toledo was able to come back and win those games made more impressive by the fact that they went on the road to Cincinnati to start that three-game set and uh, really got blown out for the first time this season. Yeah, first time in a long time for the Toledo Walleye to really take uh, a kind of a beating like that, 9-2. to two. I think everybody's trying to forget about that one. I asked Dan Watson the next day, you know, uh, some coaches throw away that. T he, I haven't even looked at it. I am not going to look at it. it. It was an outlier of the season, so there's no point in dwelling on that game. And they did a great job of not dwelling on it that next night in Fort Wayne. Here it is, Thanksgiving. You're in Fort Wayne. They got a big crowd there. If you just played in front of a, a ruckus crowd, there of almost 11,000 in Cincinnati. Next day, you got about eight. Uh, you're playing in front of a, a, in Fort Wayne, and they're fired up. You give up a goal 40 seconds into the game. You're, you, I mean, it could have been very easy for this team to just go, well, here we go again. But instead, they turned in a great effort in the second period, got the lead. Uh, even though Fort Wayne tied it, they kept pressuring them. And it came down all the way to the last 10 seconds. A great play by, uh, as you just mentioned, Matt Berry. Turns the puck over, gets it over to Josh Dickinson. He puts it in the back of the net with 8.6, I think it was 8.6 seconds left to go in the game in the overtime session to get the win. And then that kind of settled down Toledo a little bit. They got a nice win against Indy in a 2 and one week. Well, as exciting as that overtime win was on Friday, I think from watching the broadcast, the most exciting part was actually the teddy bear toss as all the teddy bears came raining down onto the ice. Uh, what a fantastic moment that was, uh, both for the team and the fans and those who are going to benefit from it. Yeah, them. and a lot of great beneficiaries of this with Toledo Police and Fire, Lucas and Wood County Children's Services, Family House, a lot of great uh, avenues that the over 4,500 new stuffed animals are going to in this holiday season. That is phenomenal. Once again, the Toledo Walleye fans hit it out of the park. And they had to wait a little while. It was about <laughs> halfway through the game. Sometimes you can start getting a little nervous, like, when are we going to throw these things out there? But uh, Keegan Haldeshell got the goal, and, and it really uh, set the scene there. And what I loved about that was, you know, you, you go, it, it takes a while to clean all those up. It's not the quickest process in the world, no matter how you try to do it. And then you turn around and continue to play very well, which Toledo did, dominated the rest of that second period. It's hard to do that right after you score a goal. Now, uh, over nine minutes to get all the teddy bears cleaned up off the ice. My favorite part is watching the players go and scoop them as well. Well, Matt, I know it's been a busy couple of days for you. You all enjoy the break, and of course, we will see you back in action on Saturday. You can watch the walleye against the Wheeling Nailers right here on BCSN.